Alright, so let's talk about the count good triplets. So you're given an array of integer array and uh, three integer A, B, and C. So you need to find the number of good triplets. So um, the triplets actually um, has to fulfill the constraint. And I don't want to talk about this. You can just go over it. And in this question, okay, I'm going to draw the diagram for you. All right, so I'm going to create a three index. It's going to be i, j, and k. i, j, and k. So uh, when this fulfill, right, since k is less than array dot length, I will, I will increment my, I will increment my k. Right, so I will increment my k to the right. And at some point, for sure, at some point, like, uh, some point right over here, k will be equal to the array dot length, right? And I will have to make sure index j, you are going to increment starting from here, right? So j will plus plus. But once I re-index my j, my k can reuse, right? My k can be reused. My k can be reused starting from here. So this is another triplet, right? So k will be equal to j plus one. So at some point for sure, at some point again, j plus one will equal to a rate of length, right? So there's a reason why I use plus one because the, the, the last index is going, going to be k. So at some point, j k is right here, right? So uh, this will violate, uh, I mean, when this is hit, and then I will increment my j, but this will violate the constraint. So I will say my index i body you have to move on. So my index i increment. I will re-index my j and k right here, right? So uh, if this is valid, so i increment j equal to i plus one k equal to j plus 1. All right, so here's a note. And let me just start coding. And I do the helper function already. So this is actually the constraint. If you um, if you're not sure about this, just read over it. I'm not going to talk about it. So I have a i, I have a j, I have a k. I also have what? Counter. For my return value, so at the end I will just return result, right? So while i plus two is actually less than a rate of length, so what? Why I do i plus two? Plus two is index for i, index for k, right? So if map at array i j k a b c, if this is valid, I will just increment my result, and this will be the increment. Counter right, so basically that is so. Okay, so start from here. So if k is less than a rate of length, right? I'll just keep increment my k. So when once I increment my k, at some point k will hit the end of the array. So what? So you will do i uh, j plus plus, and then k uh equal to j plus one, right? And at some point like j will uh j will hit this violation and I will have to increment increment my i j equal to i plus one k equal to j plus one and this will be the solution so here we go so let me submit so I didn't close this window this is because I was uh, testing another solution but it doesn't matter all right so let's talk about the timing space this is going to be space, it's going to be all of one constant for the time. This is actually what? Uh, three times n, right? Uh, all of three times n. But I will say all of n at the end. So uh, sliding window actually taking less time complexity. If you're using the BF method, you are going to have a three, uh, three for loop. So it's going to be n, n, n cube for loop. Uh, in that case, but in my solution, it's going to be all of them. 
and this will this will be the solution and i will see you next time bye